Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, even saving the Council. Humanity has the trust of the entire galaxy. And still, it's not enough. Our sacrifices have earned the Council's gratitude, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on.
Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died in a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human Council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it.
Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there, but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Solarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need.
Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus. Through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. 
You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <sighs> I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you... got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But... Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? 
makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. Well, you know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully, no trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. Then you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Uh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family.
Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe. Comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's Fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, <laughs> something we don't share. That's funny. I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but... I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. 
the intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Wait a minute. Are you jealous? Don't be absurd. The genetic mutt that the elusive man put in charge. Man, that must sting. First, it's not a competition. Second, based on your combat records, you're practically a perfect bloody human specimen. Perfect human specimen, huh? Don't get cocky. I'm the one who put you back together, remember? And I do damn good work. You certainly do. What the hell was that? Okay, this doesn't mean anything. We just... God, I need to think. I need... I'll talk to you later. And stop smiling, damn it. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? I wondered when you'd come back. Listen, whatever happened was a simple mistake. Nothing more. I don't know what this is. If this is stress, or just blowing off steam, or... Maybe I'm looking for something a little more involved. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? Nothing says we have to start a relationship. <laughs> you ass. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promise me, damn it. I don't know. That's a pretty big promise to make. Give me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Yeah, that was the plan. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. Hey, Shepard. It's really weird to see Miranda smiling while she's working. And it's all because of you. Be gentle with her, Shepard. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Sexual activity common for humans in such times, understand it intellectually, recommend caution when dealing with Cerberus. I believe Miranda has earned our trust. What she and I do in our spare time is our business. Of course, hormones, just watch for bugs, could be planted anywhere. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Watch for bugs, could be planted anywhere, can perform exam later if necessary, will need probes. Biotic ability also gives benefits. Forwarding booklet to your quarters includes diagrams, exercises, inventive uses of mass effect fields. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Pardon me, Commander. I've cleared the engine room. I'll be there in five minutes. 
I was wondering when you'd show. I settle for nothing but the best. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. Edie's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do and you acquire the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We got 10 minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart.
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Hey, Shepard. Oh, Shepard. The engine room? Really? Right there where Tally works? Okay, I have to know. Just how genetically modified is she? Because... Wow. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship, and I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me? I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. You and your team destroyed the Collectors and walked out alive. We fought them in their own base and we won. They can't call us young or primitive anymore. Young? You know, I'm 108. 109 in a couple of months. Oh, I should get you something nice. You're alive again. I've got everything I want. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? The future of humanity, as evidenced by the perfect Miss Lawson? She's got her issues, but she trusts me. And I care about her. She was so cold when I first met her. Completely focused on her duty. I don't know that she's lightened up that much. She has. Believe me. You have no idea how much you've changed her. I hope the two of you find some happiness, Shepard. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard.
back soon. Shepard, it's so good to finally see you. You too, Miranda. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard, am I still part of your plan? It's been so long I wasn't sure where we stood. Miranda, you're the only one I want. I'd like to spend my life with you. No second thoughts? This is your chance to back out. Never. It was hard to be away from you. Surprised myself how attached I got. I'm not good at attached. Would you consider riding this out aboard the Normandy? <laughs> I wish I could. I really do. But there's something I need to deal with. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I knew you'd want to help, and I'm grateful. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Why do you think your father is involved in Ariana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Did you try to contact me when I was back on Earth? A visit by the former Cerberus second-in-command would have been disastrous. Any kind of secret communication would have looked even worse. I was tempted to break in and see you. I understand. You're a dangerous enemy. Right. Fun and games till they arrested me or just shot me on sight. I had to play it safe, for both of us. I understand. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Shepard, thank God you're all right. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I wanted to see you in person. It's better this way. The Citadel is a mess right now. It sounds like it. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? 
He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. You'll find her. I know you will. Okay. I better get going. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? I told you, it's crazy. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. Shepard. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Miranda. It's okay. We figured it out. And we have enough to deal with right now. We can't give ourselves a break. There's too much at stake. Hey. Yes? Come here. Oh? Still impatient, Commander? I've always thought of you as the take charge type. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Come on. So what do we know, Commander? Edie? 
The sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? Power switch. There. What's going on? Those are refugees. They're just killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. We should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang, there's no way she knows he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll get some answers. It doesn't make sense. That Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? There we go. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? This guy is someone's father? Can't believe what I'm hearing. She said that shipments were sent to the elusive man. Maybe we can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. He's talking about controlling Reaper forces, right? Is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. 
we've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attack Sanctuary. They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Commander, there's more here. Look. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him. Shepard. A Commander Shepard. <gasps> Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Oriana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right, take her. But I want out alive. Deal? No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Shepard... I can't believe it's you. We caught a break. You all right? I'll be fine. Never saw myself as a damsel in distress. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. And Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. I needed to find Ariana. Nothing was going to stop me. I've never met anyone like you, Miranda. Did you worry? Of course. It was nothing I couldn't handle. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish she didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? The research data is gone, but I've still got basic facility information, like shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. It's not a direct link, but it's something to work with. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. 
Okay. I gotta follow all this up. Shepard. Promise me you'll be careful. I can't do that, Miranda. <laughs> I know. Bastard. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by my father, Cortez, we need to pick up Henry at the tower. Wilson. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I think you two could be very happy together. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I'm sorry. I know it must be worse for you. You two were close. Yeah. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him, never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't ah me. You sound like a vorcha. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job. You genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. I saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. 
Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll need to convince me. Crazy life, don't I? Yes, it is, Shepard. Yes, it is. Time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be, uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier about having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? The only difference between us and everyone else is that our to-do list is longer. We need to let that go tonight. Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Let it go? That's harder than it sounds. I know, but this is the perfect place to try. <laughs> Agreed. I'm gonna need more wine. Now you're talking. Waiter, more wine. You're pretty sexy when you're pushy. What now? We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? The odds are against us, you know. Maybe. But I got a good feeling about this. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. Link, I've asked you to step back. 
You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Wouldn't you like it? Sure. Sure. Of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... Tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. Over by the med bay. Exactly. What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting? I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR-1 was a decent ship, but the SR-2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR-2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. The SR-2's been through a lot, and it will see us through a lot more. Well, I'm glad it was worth dying for. It wasn't the only thing. <laughs> I'd say. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? I'm Just a surprise. Back. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled, rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice.
Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. I will have another. All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right, I can live with that. I'll give that. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy into Mako. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. <laughs> Didn't you get the first one blown up? Okay. So the first Normandy kind of evaporated. It was unfortunate, but Shepard did get a better ship out of the deal. I wouldn't fight myself for another ship. Or ever again. No more clones. Come on, fighting a clone can't be worse than the Collector base. That was some messed up shit. That place still gives me nightmares. Yeah, not something I wish to repeat. I'm glad I wasn't around for that one. We must never fear the fight against evil. And I had faith that Shepard would see us through. That ability to triumph despite impossible odds is exactly why Shepard was brought back. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? Yeah, right. That's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for him. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take him down. So you unshackled an AI. Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. Yes, we're all glad she didn't turn out to be an evil robot. <laughs> Weren't you complaining earlier about how she smashed her face in? We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. And when the Collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me, saving the Normandy by myself. Single hit. Yes, you did. Good man. Could not. Could you? You've seen Biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You OK, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I could feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kind of, among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. When you're finished playing host, Come find me. You won't regret it. I haven't forgotten our time together. I never watched you sleep. Uh-huh. <sighs> Got me. It feels so good to let loose, doesn't it? Oh, gotta work it out somehow. It does. I'm usually pretty crap at this. This and baking. I can't figure it out. I know what you mean. Everyone, come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. OK, everyone say Normandy. Normandy!
Look who's here. How do you feel? Hmm. Great. I had a nice time last night. Let's make that a habit. Come on. Let's see if anyone else is up. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm, good tea. Back to the fight? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Oh, come on now. I know you. You'll find a way to win. And when you do, I'll be waiting for you. I won't say it's been easy, but we've had a good run. The best. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Shepard, we've arrived. The crew is waiting. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, good to see you. Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. What do you mean? If we both come back from this at all, Everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. I just... wish I was there. With you. Me too. I don't know what to say. This isn't goodbye. Then finish this, Shepard. And find me. I will. I promise.
Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. You ever wonder how things would have been different? How our lives would be different if this hadn't happened? Sure. I never had a family, Shepard. Never had children. There'll be time enough for that now. <laughs> I... I think that ship has sailed. What about you? Ever think about settling down? Yeah. I like the sound of that. Not sure I'd be much good at it, though. Sure you would. I think you'd make a great mother. Thanks. Think how proud your kids would be. Telling everyone there. Their mom is Commander Shepard. I don't know about that. Not everything I've done is something to be proud of. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir.
Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Jeff, we need to go. Is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us. Every man, woman, and child. Every civilization, on every world.
as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. Commander! Keep looking. Shepard! Over here. <gasps> oh my god. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together.